What is a Fermi question? Well, it was named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who was really great at estimating things based on just a few assumptions and some educated guesses. Now, when we try to answer these kinds of questions, we're really not looking for a lot of precision, just what we call an order of magnitude. And an order of magnitude is a multiple of 10. In other words, are we looking at billions, hundreds of thousands, tens of millions, and so on? Just kind of big round number ranges like that. So here's an example. How many televisions are there in all the homes in the USA? And this might be a question that's important to a TV manufacturer so that they would have an idea about their sales. Now we could go door to door to every house in the US and ask how many TVs they have. Seems like a lot of work. So if we're going to try to guess this ourselves, what do we need to know? Well, one thing that would be good to know is how many households there are and how many TVs each household has. If we have these two pieces of information, we could just multiply the number of households times the number of TVs per household. So we'll do a little bit of educated guessing. Now we could go online and do a lot of research and get some numbers and probably come up with a pretty good estimate, but if we were going to just sit and figure this out uh, by ourselves, maybe during a conversation or something, this is maybe what we would do. First of all, it's known that there's about 300 million people in the United States. So we'd want to guess how many people are in a typical household. So we might want to look at things like what portion of households are uh, single or childless adults, maybe one or two people in the household. What portion have children and how many children is average. If we put all of this together, we might make a guess that there are four people per household on the average. Some houses are going to have a lot more, some are going to have uh, fewer than four, but that's going to be our guess for the average. So next thing we want to know is how many TVs each home has. Now we could go talk to some friends to get a rough idea, and that might get us in the neighborhood. And however we decide to guess this, suppose we figure there's three TVs on the average. Okay, so we're going to put these numbers together. The number of TVs then is going to be 300 million people, times one household per four people, times three TVs per household. Now that term in the middle looks maybe upside down or backwards, however you want to look at it, but if you notice the units of people are going to cancel, and then the units of household are going to cancel, and we're going to be left with just the number of TVs by multiplying three times one times 300 million, and dividing by four, and our guess comes out to 225 million TVs. Now, that's now we might want to come up with upper and lower estimates just to sort of say we know that our estimate should be above a certain amount and below a certain amount. In other words, can we find a number that we know is going to be too high or too low and still be realistic? Well, let's start with the fact that there's 300 million people in the U.S. We can't change that, so that number is going to be fixed. Now, as far as how many people in a household, we know that there needs to be at least one, but there probably isn't more than five on the average, so that gives us that range. As far as TVs, we know that maybe not every house has a TV, but most have at least two, so let's say the minimum is one per house, and there's probably fewer than eight TVs per average household. So that would give us our range of one to eight per household. So putting these numbers together with the same formula we had previously, we're looking at a range of about 38 million at the very low end to about 1.5 billion at the very high end. Now remember our estimate was 225 million. So our order of magnitude for our answer would be something like hundreds of millions. Whether it's 225 million or 100 million or 500 million is hard to say, but it's probably in the hundreds of millions.